Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today's topic is interesting for those who want to start a property preservation business. One of the most often queries posed by aspiring entrepreneurs a show. Much does it cost to establish a property preservation business? You're in luck because we'll be delving into the costs of launching this type of business. Let's get this party started transportation. To go to properties for inspections, maintenance, and repairs, you'll need reliable transportation, which may entail owning or leasing a vehicle as well as covering recurring expenses such as fuel maintenance and insurance, marketing and advertising. Customer acquisition is critical for any business, and marketing and advertising are necessary expenses. Creating a website, printing business cards, flyers, and other marketing materials, and investing in online or local advertising strategies are all examples of this. Training and education. Depending on your level of experience and competence, you may need to invest in training and education to get the necessary property preservation skills and knowledge. Attending workshops earning certificates, or employing experienced personnel may be necessary. Miscellaneous expenses. Other expenses to consider include office supplies, software or technological tools, and initial operating costs like as opening a business bank account and paying legal fees to register your business. Transition to host summarizing the key takeaways, and quote. In conclusion, establishing a Property preservation business necessitates careful budgeting and planning. And quote, equipment and tools, license and insurance, transportation, marketing and promotion, training and education, and miscellaneous fees are all common charges to consider. It's critical to thoroughly investigate and estimate these costs to guarantee you have enough money to start and run your business successfully. And quote, closing scene. And quote. That concludes the talk today of the costs of starting a property preservation business. And quote. I hope you found this information useful as you design your new business. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and to subscribe to our channel for more useful stuff. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and best of luck.